Benson. Mitch got arrested. It all started when Starla came to my house. She had a black eye and bruised lips. She was sobbing, Benson. Her daughter looked so, so scared. I asked her what had happened. She told me that Mitch had been drinking too much again and had gotten mad at her. She asked to spend the night at my place to give Mitch time to cool off. I was furious, Benson. I couldn't believe that Mitch could have gone this far. I called the police. She begged me not to, but I did. It was horrible, Benson. I just still can't get his daughter's scared look out of my head. It makes me so angry that Mitch would do this. It makes me so angry that you weren't there for him. You were the one who helped him with his alcoholism all those years ago. You helped him clean up and get his job at the park. And you know what? The whole ordeal got me thinking. Why haven't I called the cops on you yet? I did it for Mitch. Why didn't I do it for you? Maybe it's because I saw the petrified face of his daughter. Maybe it's because I've seen his work on Starla firsthand, while I've only heard whispers of your sins. Or maybe it's because I promised the old man I'd take care of you, and somehow I think it means not ratting on you. I don't know anymore. Who knows, I might be back here with the squad of police cars next week, Benson. I guess we'll find out. Huh? Goodbye, Benson.